On September 7th, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. will enter the ring to face Vera right here in LA at Staples Center. I'm here at Outlaws, Ryan Meza, Coach Brandon Kraus. So first of all, the big news is Chavez Sr. is going to train his son, Chavez Jr. What do you think about that? I think that's great. You know, Chavez Jr. can not listen to Chavez Sr. so much better than Freddie Roach. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful, productive relationship. Uh, uh, you know, who Chavez Jr. has always been, you know, the son of the great, the son of the superstar, and never really seemed to take too much... Uh, uh, interest in training hard and being the best he could possibly be and I don't wouldn't really expect that to happen uh, even with his old man in the corner they're fighting at 168 yeah is that good is that bad what do you think it might be better for Chavez because I mean hey he's this dude's a heavy guy he walks around at a heavy weight when he's not fighting so it might assume him a lot better and I do recall that when he weighed in 160 for his fight against Martinez uh, he looked pretty drained. He did. He, he looked like a, a, a just. Uh, he looked very, very, very scrawny. The most fit I ever saw Chavez Jr. looked at 160 were his fights against uh, Manfredo Jr. and um, damn it, it's fucking uh, John Duddy. John Duddy. Those are the guys that I felt that he looked his most physically fit, like in shape, strong at 160, feeling good. But he he didn't look like he made 160 comfortably against Martinez, even though. He fought the he fought the fight and he blew up in a, a large amount of weight the next night. You know, uh, maybe 168 will suit him a lot better. And Brian Vera is a viable contender. You know, he's definitely going to come with everything he's got. This makes for a good matchup because Brian Vera is not really known for being a boxer. He's a guy who likes to mix it up and be in your face all night long. Come forward, try to hit to the body, try to hit to the head, try to. He's he's. He's a fun guy to watch, and uh, and him and Chavez Jr. I think make a good matchup because Chavez he, he likes guys that come at him. Coach, who do you like on this one? Chavez Jr. is going to beat Brian Vera, and then you have to start competing at 168 because you got to hunt down Andre Ward. You know yeah. that's the big money fight that both of these guys want. So uh, yeah, Chavez Jr. is going to beat Brian Vera. Brian Vera just just like Ryan said, he's going to be in his face the whole time, but he doesn't hit particularly hard. He doesn't have particularly straight, crisp punches, and uh, I expect Chavez Jr. to be too much for him. But also expect some of the the, the qualities that Chavez Jr. had at 160 to start to disappear. He's not going to be this enormously giant middleweight anymore with, with 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 that size and girth behind him and a, a light heavyweight chin in the middleweight division so now he's going to start fighting bigger guys and he's going to have to start taking some bigger punches it's going to be interesting uh, to see how, how it works out for him and, at and we, we see many times that happens to fighters that move up in weight when they were the, the bully in their weight class but when they move up they just blend in with the other bullies. Yeah, not... I mean, there's guys at 168 that are quite big, and then if you start going after 175, I mean, there are just some giant dudes at 175 yeah. also. I uploaded a video yesterday with uh, Chael Sonnen. He's an MMA star. Mm -hmm. And he says that in the fight game, and he gave the two examples from boxing, the smaller guy has the advantage. He said Ali was only 198 in the heavyweight. <laughs> he said Tyson was only 220, but he wasn't, like, what, 5'10"? Is 5 that true when, when the smaller guy has the advantage? I, I mean, it just depends on your style and who you're on, fighting. Exactly. It depends on your style. It depends who you're fighting. Mayweather's always a smaller guy in his fights when he fights heavier guys. But that wasn't true in Pacquiao's early, always the smaller guy when he fights. But that wasn't true early in Mayweather's career. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, he was big and he knocked guys out. And, and you know, and Kale Sonnen's talking about Muhammad Ali weighing 198. Maybe he weighed 198 early in his career, but in Muhammad Ali's prime... He was like 215, 220 pretty much, you know, so, it, and Muhammad Ali was a legitimate heavyweight. He didn't lift weights, you know, he just did everything, he just, he grew into a natural heavyweight the way he did. Does Chavez Jr. keep moving up in weight to 75? Does his lack of discipline keep him moving up the scale? Probably. I don't know, we'll see if it's him or it's the trainer. It takes two to tango. Absolutely. There well, you, yeah. hmm? It takes two to tango, yeah. We'll see what happens. Hey, you right here at outlawsfeedsreport.com. I'm Ali Sackback reporting.